Good morning, good morning, good morning, 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 good morning, it's play days at home. Bah! I've just made up a new theme tune. Love it! I wasn't even doing that before. Good morning guys, welcome to Play Days at Home. It's Wednesday. Uh, it's Wednesday the 5th already. The 5th of August. Where's it gone? It's August. Ah! But it's also Outdoor Activity Day, which is always fun because you get to go outside and do some finding and exploring. So coming up shortly, we're going to be going out. But of course, on Wednesday is Tom Foolery's Joke Day as well. So, haha, <laughs> have you been thinking of some jokes? Have you? Do you want to hear some? <laughs> I'm going to be doing that in just a moment. Uh, but later on, coming up, we've got, uh, for the younger ones, the uh, we've got the mud kitchens and mud play. So get ready to get dirty. Uh, and for the older ones, tree guardians and molehill digging. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fun and games. Uh, uh, followed by, of course, Music Bus with some actions and songs as well. They'll be coming on. I hope you're enjoying this every single day. Uh, we're in week three already, and there's still three more weeks to go after this. We're here throughout the entire summer holidays, which is actually looking like summer, isn't it? Hey, we're getting a bit of a proper summer with lots and lots of sunshine, so fantastic. And this weekend is going to be even hotter. So I hope you're putting on your sun cream, especially as we talk about going outdoors and playing. Today is going to be nice and warm as well. Uh, so even when there's clouds in the sky, guys, and it's a little bit breezy, that's when you get burnt. I got burnt just the other day, uh, had it, uh, even with sun cream on. So you've got to be extra careful. Put that high factor sun cream and keep putting on. Wear a hat, drink water and look after yourselves. All right. Okay, all right, Dad talk over. Are you ready for some jokes? Let's do Joke Wednesday. What is brown and hairy and wears sunglasses? A coconut on holiday. What do you say to a rabbit on its birthday? Happy birthday! Why do candles always go on the top of a cake? Because if you put them underneath the cake, you won't be able to light them. What goes up but never goes down? Your age. What does every birthday end with? The letter Y. What did the tiger say to her cub on its birthday? It's raw birthday. Raw. <laughs> Why couldn't the pony sing a song? Because it was a little horse. How do you make an octopus laugh? With ten tickles. Ten, ten tickles. <laughs> ten tickles. <laughs> Why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper would make them <laughs> sneeze. What do porcupines say when they kiss? Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> Spiky. What did the ocean say to the pirate? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> what is the difference between a cat that got photocopied and a cat that follows you everywhere? One is a cat copy, the other one is a copy cat. Cat copy copy cat copy, copy cat. <laughs> What do Father Christmas's elves learn in school? The alphabet! Alphabet! <laughs> what did one snowman say to the other snowman? <laughs> Can you smell carrots? Why did Robber jump in the shower? Because he wanted to make a clean getaway. What kind of music do balloons hate? Pop music! Pop! <laughs> but it's that. <clears throat> what time is it when the ball goes through the window? Oh! Time to get a new window! What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Gummy, gummy bear. <laughs> what did the traffic light say to the car? Don't look, I'm about to change. <laughs> did you hear about the guys that stole a calendar? <laughs> they each got six months. Hmm. What is a skeleton's favourite instrument? A trombone. Oh, trombone? But, yeah. uh. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because the chicken wasn't invented yet. Why couldn't the music teacher start his car? Because he's left his keys on the piano. Keys. Like the... <laughs> Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. <laughs> what do you call a fly without any wings? A walk. <laughs> Why doesn't... 
Oh dear. Obviously, they are the best jokes in the world. I don't write them myself. I don't. I look them up. I research, and I like some of them. <laughs> if you've got any, then let me know. Uh, guys, it's Wednesday. Obviously, we've got the competition coming up this Friday. You can still colour in your play days at home artwork, which is available online or at any library in the Mid Sussex District Council area. Um, get those covered in and sent in, and we'll be doing another prize this Friday for your ten pounds Amazon gift voucher. I hope you're all enjoying doing that so far. So today it's on with our Activity Wednesdays and we've got Susie from Tree Toppers for the younger ones doing mud kitchens and mud play and then Sarah and Mel from Nature Nurture are going to be doing tree guardians and molehill digging and then stick around afterwards because uh, Music Bus will be along for another one and I'll be back to say cheerio for today. Enjoy your Wednesday. We'll see you very soon. Hi, I'm Mel and I'm from Nature Nurture Sussex and today's activity uses one of our favourite natural materials mud. We're going to be making some mud faces on these beautiful oak trees. Now this is an activity that is done by forest schools all over the country. In fact I think it might be done by forest schools all over the world. It's really good fun and before we start I'm going to show you a few pictures of mud faces that have been made in the past. So before we can start we need some really good quality mud. So we're going to go out in search of molehills. Right so we've found some really good molehills haven't we? Yeah. How big do you think a mole is? about that big. Why don't you dig the molehill and see if you can find the hole that the mole came out of. I am a mole and I live in a hole. So there we go, we found the hole that the mole came out of. What do you think boys? Cool. They're it's tiny. They're what tiny. Was... You're bit... tiny. You want to put your hand inside it? No, no beat me hand. What's in it? So now we've got a lovely bucket of top quality mole mud. Yeah. Now while we were out walking we collected a few other natural materials that we can add to the mud and make our faces with. We have found these spiky teasels. We found two of those and I think they would make great horns. We have found some pine cones. These might be good for a nose. We found these seed pods. Now these come from a flower called Honesty and they're really interesting. I have picked a piece of rosemary from the garden and that smells really delicious. And we've got a few berries as well. Now if you know your berries and you know which ones are safe to pick or you've got a grown up with you that can help then you might be able to collect a few berries. We found the first of the blackberries and also we've picked these hawthorn berries which are safe but the tree is a little bit spiky. And we've also found these 
which are Gilder roseberries and they're a really interesting colour so they might make great eyes. We added some water and mixed it up until the mud was a sticky consistency. We didn't want to make it too wet, just wet enough to stick to the tree. Mud, mud, glorious mud, muddy mud, oh the muddy mud. So now the boys have mixed up the mud to a really good texture. So I'm going to get my hands stuck in going to make a nice big ball of mud. Now the trick to getting your mud to stick to the tree is you use a key, okay? So a key is a tiny piece of mud that you smear on the tree first. And then you can get your ball of mud and attach it to the tree. So now we've got our mud face attached to the tree we are going to have a go at decorating it. I have two eyes that I used to see. I have a nose that I used to breathe. I have a mouth that I used to speak. So we've left our mud friend on the tree and anybody that goes for a walk that way will meet him. I wanted to share with you another idea for a woodland creature you could create and bring home and put in your own garden. We've dug a big lovely bucket of clay. Now we dug our clay out from a stream. You might have clay in your garden. You probably know about it if you do because it makes gardening a little bit more tricky. And you can even buy it in craft shops. So I've got some of our clay here and we've also found some good sticks on our journey. We found this one. It looks a little bit like stick man, it's got a pair of legs. And if you wanted, you could find another stick and tie it on with some string for arms. So what I'm going to do is get a big ball of the lovely clay that we found and push it onto the stick. And that is the beginning of a woodland creature that could live in your garden. Now I'm going to use some of the woodland treasures that we found to give it some features. Do you remember those teasels that I thought would make perfect horns? There we go. Now what could I use for the eyes? Let's see. Ah yes, there was these wonderful gilderberries. So I'm just going to push those in. Oh wow, he's starting to look really interesting. 
I need a nose. I think a pine cone would be a great nose. Oh, oh dear. One of his horns have fallen off. I'm going to pop that back in. And there we go. I think I might give him a name and see if he wants to live in my garden. I have two eyes that I used to see. I have a nose that I used to breathe. I have a mouth that I used to speak. I have two ears that I used to hear. Hello, I'm Suzanne and I'm from Treehoppers Forest Kindergarten in East Grinstead. And we are delighted to be working with Mid Sussex on their play days at home. So today, I wanted to talk to you about mud. Marvellous mud, muddy play and muddy painting. And all the fun you can have. So I really want to encourage you to go out and get muddy because really, a bit of dirt doesn't hurt, it all washes off and it's free. Now, if you're gonna do some muddy play down at your local woods, then you really don't need to have much with you. The one thing that you do need to take or have or find is a container of some sort to put your mud in and then you're going to need something to dig some mud up with. Now, a trowel is obviously great, but a stick will do the job. So dig, 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 collect your mud, and then you're going to need some ingredients. So, obviously you're in a wood, so there's going to be lots of leaves you can add. You might find acorns. I'm in a wood with lots of hazel trees, so there's lots of hazelnuts. You might have some flowers that have dropped their petals so you might be able to add a few of those we don't really encourage too much picking of the wild flowers because we want to save those for the bees but the odd one or two is fine so you've got some ingredients and depending on where you are and what trees you have you might find pine cones or conkers if it's in autumn there's lots of different things in the wood so get collecting So if you have a bit of outdoor space or your adult has said you can have a little bit of a garden to have a bit of a mud kitchen, then you can get a few more bits together. So ask your adult if they've got any pots and pans that they don't need anymore. Maybe some wooden spoons. A whisk is great for um, mixing up those frothy mud coffees. A ladle. Just some containers really. You're going to need some water as well to mix everything together and of course some mud, a key ingredient. You can use compost but not doesn't quite goo up in the same way as mud and water does but it's fine. So you might have a few old cookery books as well that give you a bit of inspiration. You don't need to have a big expensive mud kitchen. All we do at our nursery is we have planks of wood balanced on logs so it doesn't need to be fancy have a look at our mud kitchen at tree hoppers really. There are lots of really expensive mud kitchens out there and they are wonderful but you really don't need to spend that money. It can be so simple 
You don't even need anything apart from pots, pans, and some utensils really, and a little corner to do it in. But if you can, if you've got a plank of wood, perhaps an old cupboard, um, something to balance the things on is all you need really. And a water supply to wash it all up afterwards. So it's nice to have a little bit of colour in your mud kitchen if you can. But if you're in the garden, don't get the scissors out and start snipping off the flowers because it won't be very popular. Instead, what you need to do is, if there's bunches of flowers in the house, once they're past their best and they might be heading for the compost bin, rescue them because they're brilliant ingredients for a mud kitchen. So get anyone you know to save all their bunches of flowers and give them to you because they are wonderful. So you might not have thought of this, but mud also makes great paint. And of course, you're never gonna run out of mud, are you? So you just dig up some mud, add a bit of water, get the lumps out, that's quite important. You don't really want lumpy paint. And then off you go. So we've got a few photos and videos of some of our children making some wonderful creations with mud. Every week at our nursery we have Claire from Soundround who comes in and sings with the children. She is very good at making up her own songs and this week we told her that we were talking about mud and how amazing it is. So she came up with a muddy song, all about pigs. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone. Today I have a song about five naughty, cheeky little piggies who like rolling in the mud. Here they are. Five little piggies rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, it felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. <gasps> oink, 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 that piggy did shout. Four little piggies rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, it felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 that piggy did shout. Three little piggies rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, it felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. <gasps> oink, 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 that piggy did shout. Two little piggies rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, it felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. <gasps> oink, 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 that piggy did shout. One little piggy rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, it felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 that piggy did shout. No little piggies rolled in the mud. They all looked so clean and good. The farmer turned his back and then the piggies rolled in the mud again. Hooray for mud! So we hope we've given you some great muddy play ideas and some inspiration to go out there, get your old clothes on and go and get muddy. Play, learn, get muddy. That's one of our mottos. And there's a few extra ideas of things to do in the mud coming up. So go and get muddy, show us your photos. We'll be back next week for some more nature inspired activities. Have a great summer.
Hello everybody and welcome to Music Bus. Shall we sing the Music Bus welcome song? Are you ready to tap your legs? Tap, 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 that's it. Oh good, that feels nice doesn't it? We sing five, six, seven, eight. Welcome to all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. Welcome to all our friends here at Music Bus. Let's sing hello to them, hello to them, hello to them. Let's sing hello to them here at Music Bus. So here we are. Hello everybody. Now I've got two really fun songs today for you and the first one is Roly Poly. Now if you have got a little baby you might need to help them doing Roly Poly. If you're big you might want to do it with one of your toys like I'm doing it with Eddie the Teddy or if you're in the middle you could do it like me and I'm going to do it with my hands and it's a good fun song and it makes everybody at my classes have a really big giggle. So shall we see and I like to do it at birthday parties as well because it's a fun one for birthday parties. So here we go. We start off we go Roly poly, very slowly. Roly poly, very fast. Did you do it? That was opposites, wasn't it? Roly poly, very slowly. Roly poly, very fast. Now we're going to go up. You ready? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, hands in your lap. Roly poly, roly poly, hands behind your back. <gasps> Where they gone? Where they gone? You ready? One, two, three, boo! <laughs> Did you see my hands? Oh, they came out, didn't they? So shall we do it again? Now you know it. Are you ready? Roly poly, very slowly. Roly poly, very fast. Roly poly, very slowly. Roly poly, very fast. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, hands in your lap. Roly poly, roly poly, hands behind your back. Uh oh, where have they gone? You ready? One, two, three, boo! Oh, there they are! Hi! Nice to see you! So, that was our first song, and next we're going to look on my storyboard and see what could be on it today. So, would you like to knock, knock, knock and see what's on the storyboard? Shall we have a look? Oh, knock, 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 knock. Who's there? Let's have a look. It's, oh, there's a box. But who's going to jump out of the box? It's the Jack in the Box. Look, he was folded up and then he jumped up. And he's very happy. Can you see his big smiling face? And his hat. What colour is his hat? And it's got a pattern as well, hasn't it? Did you say it's red? with white spots. Very good. Now you're going to be a jack-in-the-box for this song because you start off in a box like this and then we say the jack-in-the-box jumps up like this he makes me laugh as he waggles his head I gently press him down again saying jack-in-the-box you must go to bed. Are you ready to sing with me? I hope you are. Let's start the music and we'll put it on. Here we go. Ready? Start in your box. The Jack in the Box jumps up like this. He makes me laugh as he waggles his head. I gently press him down again. Saying, Jack in the Box, you must go to bed. Should we do it again? Are you ready? The Jack in the Box jumps up like this He makes me laugh as he waggles his head I gently press him down again Saying Jack in the Box you must go to bed <laughs> Did you like that? 
did you jiggle around like a jack-in-the-box? Oh, wasn't it fun? And I'll see you next time for some more music bus fun. Bye-bye! Uh, oops. <laughs> I, uh, I got a little bit carried away with that one. I've had a lovely time. <laughs> I hope you have as well. Um, I think I need to go and have a bit of a clean up. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I managed to get mud um, in my face. Ah, oh, it's all over my face as well. Ugh. Oopsie daisy, uh, but it's okay. I'm gonna go clean now. I'm gonna have a uh, wash. Uh, and clean myself up, ready for more fun and games tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed joining us on Play Days at Home on this Wednesday. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more because it's Thursday. Uh, what do we do on a Thursday? Oh no! What have we got going on on a Thursday? Ugh. <laughs> Yes, uh, we'll be back tomorrow, of course, because it's Thursday, and uh, Kate and Poi Passion will be joining us uh, with some practice uh, ball, contact ball that you can be playing with. It's going to be great fun, so come join us then. Go and get cleaned up, you mucky lot, honestly. Have enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.